Mm -hmm. There's five very hyped sneaker releases this Saturday. Yeah. Can you run them down? Do you have them all in the description for Jalal to pull up? Yeah, I, I, I got them. I think got we got them. them. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. So. By the way, we are wearing, uh, I'm wearing these bad boys today. I love this shoe. Those are sweet with those laces. With the lace swap. God dang. The lace swap is uh, is absolutely incredible. Jalal, flip that camera real quick so they can see the laces, lace swap if you didn't see it on uh, on the social. You still can't see the lace swap. Gosh, I'm a piece of crap. <laughs> Anyways, what are you wearing today, Dal? <laughs> uh, I didn't. I, I didn't realize that I still had these, so uh, I wore them just for shits and giggles because they're easy to beat. I am wearing the Easy Three Fifty uh, oh. Utility Blacks or just the black non three M three M laces. Uh, just super easy to wear. I don't know what socks my my, my mom. You're not calling them Pirate Black V Twos anymore? Nah. Did that die out? I I, Remember when people were like pirate black V twos when they're gray? Yeah, no shit. That right. was old school. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, Jalal, I don't know if I sent you uh, these releases, uh, but I sent you a lot of like re uh, releases that are going to be delayed based off the oh, coronavirus. I have the delayed ones, yeah. So yeah, so let's let's talk about that second here. So let's go over just a couple of them. Everybody's seen pictures of these. So the uh, Yeezy uh, three fifty V two Desert Sage, obviously one of the big ones for Yeezy. Um, I think this is great. We're all sick of V twos, uh, no doubt about that. But this one is pretty crazy, right? You have this kind of greenish tint to it. The midsole, however, is green. It's brown. It's got like three different colors. And then the inside of the shoe, along with the insole, is orange, right? That super vibrant, bright orange, which is super, super what sick. What is it called? It's the uh, Desert Sage, Easy 350. Um, so that one's cool. And no raffle love? No. I got the Dang Bus uh, on that one. Dang Bus! You got the Dang Bus as well? Of course. Dang Jalal, bro. you didn't enter, right? I didn't enter. Go figure. So you check guys, this out. You guys got to keep me on point with those. So our boy it. Ryan Morgan, which I have not seen in the chat, he's an avid follower of us. Mm -hmm. And he sends me a he sends me a DM. He's like, hey, man, just so you know, no dang bros for me. I got the raffle. Would you like my size? Oh, Ryan did that? Let's go. Ryan Morgan ooped your boy for this Saturday. Thank you, uh, Ryan. Along as, uh, as long as uh, Finish Line is still doing the release uh, pending coronavirus. Right. I should have the Desert Sage. We'll have those to kind of look at on uh, Monday. Sick. But yeah, man, I, I really like this shoe. Um, I think it's really cool. And the obvious uh, stripe on it is reflective, just like the Marsh. So I don't know if this is kind of a trending uh, thing that uh, Yeezy is now going to do. Because remember, they were doing two different releases. Yes. One's one reflective, one non-reflective. I don't know if this is kind of what they were doing. Now, this, however, is not a Yeezy Supply uh, exclusive like the Yeezy Marsh was. Um, but I'm wondering, based off of all the L's that I saw in my timeline, I'm kind of wondering of the validity of how easy this may or may not be able to get. What's resale looking like? Have you... Yeah, resale's okay. I mean, you're still in like the 320s. Uh, or actually, I think that changed today. Go ahead and look that up for me here. I got on, it. I got uh, it. On the uh, Sage, but... 286 in my size. Yeah, it definitely dropped under three. Yep. So, you know, with that, it's hard to tell. But, I mean, this could go up, obviously. Uh, but it sounds like there's going to be a lot more foot sites that do have this. So your East Bays, your finish lines, your foot lockers um, versus just your Yeezy, uh, Yeezy Supply exclusive. And even the Marsh isn't really worth that much. And it was exclusive to Yeezy Supply. So, you know, if you want the shoe, it's probably going to be fairly easy to get. Um but as we know, Yeezys do increase in value after a certain amount of time. So if you can buy a couple to hold, Golden Eye, I'm sure, will buy a couple to hold. I think it's a great shoe. I love the uh, reflective stripe. I don't have anything with that. I do have reflective Yeezys. Um, but I think it's a good mix of a lot of different things. And for me at 220, I'll take it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it, I think. You don't, uh, you're not bothered by the no pull tab? I am, actually. I, I love I love the pool tabs, man. All my Yeezys that I still own currently all have pool tabs. Everyone said, I thought you sold those in the chat. I did. I thought I did. And that's what I just said before. And I found them, and I'm like, holy shit, I still have these. I'm going to rock these today. Were they DS when you found them? No, because this is the pair. I thought I sold them used. And uh, obviously, I still had them. You found them? What do you mean you found them? Where yeah. did you find them at? I, I got sneaker boxes <laughs> all over. Oh, because none of your stuff's displayed right now, right? Correct, right, yeah. Right. I, I'm redoing everything. I'm changing my shelving, changing everything. Your so. house had to get fumigated if you missed, so. Yeah. They got, they had to. It was, it was, it got a little ticky, <laughs> ticky tacky in there. <laughs> you had to cover up all his sneakers and do yeah. some craziness. Had to change everything up. But uh, <laughs> that being said, that's obviously a big one. Let's go to the three most. Wait, actually, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Fi uh, uh, Philly Mayor, really quick before we move yeah. on. He asked if this pair has the stripe on the or the stitching on the toe box. It does underneath. not. 
you know, yeah, yeah it's, it's underneath. It's underneath on this one. So yeah, yeah it's on the inside, just like that. It wasn't marsh. the was it the it marsh? Was the marsh. Yep. It was the marsh. That's Same right. thing. Yep. Same thing, uh, Philly mayor. So, like dude, these I I honestly these are growing on me a ton, and I would be very interested. Since we're still talking about the, uh, sorry, what is this called? Desert Sage. Desert Sage. They're growing on me. Like uh, Dirty DJ said in the chat, I'm liking them more and more. Once I see yours in hand, that's going to really make my decision. But God, I love the orange on the inside. If they would have used that coral or orange and they would have put the same color in the stripe, mm -hmm. I don't care about the reflective. All day. I don't want the reflective. Yep. Just throw that on the stripe on the side. Give me a little bit of that on the side. With that out, with that midsole and outsole combo, fire. Mm -hmm. I would have loved that. All right, move on. All right, so the other thing is uh, the Air Jordan 1 High Zoom Racer. We looked at that. Remember, it looks like the AJKOs. Yes. That is out, um, so I'm not a big fan of that. I love the colorway. We called it, remember, the poor man's Dior. Yes. So Comes out Saturday? Yes, so mm -hmm. that is a Saturday release as well, so I'm just kind of going to go over that one. You know, What's that, that called again? It's called the uh, Air Jordan 1 High Zoom Let's Racer. The Zoom Racer. The Zoom Racer, not the AJKO. How much the end what is what does resale look like, real quick? Curiosity, two seventy three right now. That's what the that's what the asking price is on a twelve. Okay, I don't know that they're getting that. Do they have a bid in two twenty seven? Mm. Not much. Yeah, because the retail on those are one seventy five. So yeah, you may, you may not have any money to be made on that. I, it's hard telling. You're getting uh, on your size. Your the bids are in for two fifty. Not yeah. much. I don't think it's worth my time. I don't either. It's not. Uh, neither, neither of us were looking at copying. I didn't realize when we were looking at photos. Do you realize it's patent leather? Yes. I did not. And it's going to be shitty patent leather. Yeah, it looks, it's all patent leather. It's going to be, you know, like those, uh, they had a Zoom racer that was kind of the same. Remember all the three, the all 3M joint? Remember that oh, just came out a yeah, while back? Yeah. That was kind of sa the same, but it obviously had that 3M coating, so it made the leather even worse. So I think this leather will probably be a little bit better than that because you don't have that 3M covering. Um, but uh, yeah, these, these aren't going to be great. Let's go to the next two that are going to be some of the greatest leather that you might see this week. So the Nike Dunk Lows in the Kentucky and the Syracuse. So you've got both the orange and blue coming out this Saturday. It is a global sneakers release. Yep. It is going to be at skate shops. It is going to be at multiple locations, but I think these are gonna be really hard. As a matter of fact, the Syracuse joint had exclusive access that came out yesterday, but I don't think exclusive access was given to anybody yesterday. It just came out on uh, the sneakers app, but it sounds like a few people had exclusive access. I, of course, did not today. None of my accounts, none of my friends with accounts had it. So uh, I think this will be pretty hard to get. It'll be pretty limited. Um, I, obviously, there's going to be money. Uh, the dunks, 2020 is the year of the dunks, no doubt. So retail on them, 110? Um, I think it's 100. 100? I'm Woo. pretty sure it is an even 100. I'm looking now. Damn. Damn, that's an even 100. And those are flipping for 290 right now or asking price, but bids all day for 250. Yeah. So that's an easy 150, 125 after fees. I'm telling you, and the quality should be epic on these. So either, either way, you hold them, you buy them for personal, you resell them. There's money to be made at the release, after the release. Again, 2020, year of the dunks. I recommend you just get both pairs and then you... You do one one orange and one blue, and then you're old school Broncos. You're like '90s. That 90s makes sense. Broncos. You, you, you then all of a sudden you're a Royal fan. I don't think the Royals have orange. I think you would just need the blue. Mm, fair enough. If you're a Royals fan, is that what you're saying? No, Kansas no. City Royals? No, you're now a fan of the color royal because you don't usually like shoes that are royal. Oh, I'm not saying I do this. I'm suggesting what someone else should do. For oh, something. okay, gotcha. I'm not saying I'm saying I would do it. All right, you ready for the most hyped, most hard to get? Probably the coolest dunk, in my opinion, maybe this year, that will come out, the Safari Dunk Lows. Love them. Man, these Love are them. sick. The green swoosh, the animal print, the brown. You know stupid. the quality is going to be stupid, stupid awesome in these. Um, man, what a well-done dunk. And I don't even have to see these bitches in hands. No, I mean, For $100, you should make an easy two two fifty plus on these, I feel like. Re well, resale right now, you're hitting at three bids in three sixty five and a twelve. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you think after release day, up or down from there? I think you go up. I think you're going to see a lot of people being like, "Damn it, I missed." You don't think there's a ton of pair? I think there's. They're, a on, they're on sneakers or no? Uh, these? Damn, I don't even know. Actually, I haven't seen them loaded on sneakers Me yet. Me either, but but I think they're supposedly going to be on sneakers. But as of Let right me know now, in the comments, fellas. Yeah, they're not loaded on sneakers yet, but they should be. 
He, uh, just incredible. Most skate shops won't be getting these being that they aren't SB. He's talking about the orange and the, is it about oh, the orange yeah, ones? Correct. Orange yeah. and blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's talking about the orange and blue. Yeah. But the, this one is all at, uh, all uh, skate shops. Yeah, now. Yeah. I mean, 303 satellite board shop. And the crazy thing on this is I thought there'd be enough hype to where they do a raffle system right now. I'm seeing first come first serve. Oh, really? I'm seeing first come first serve on the safari dunks. Well, that's what, um, that's what I was saying. I think. Eh, maybe they, maybe they might, maybe they might go down because I think there might be a little bit of pairs. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, I'm debating. So, if you're, so uh, if you're trying to get the dunks, uh, Nike sneakers app is probably your best bet. Um, the SBs, if they do load them on Nike, I, we'll see. But skate shops, first come, first serve. You better be there Friday night. Doubt. Did you uh, from Armando? Did you get the black lavas? Last week. I haven't yet. I'm waiting. So resale is dropping on those. So that right now I have a bid in at 150. Those bitches sold out quick, dude. They only dropped them on sneakers. Yeah, I have not gone. seen them anywhere else, dude. Foot Lockers. Foot Lockers had the OG pair last year, dude, when those came out. I bought two pairs. One off their website and go. one in store. Good to go. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, these uh, obviously more demand and or more limited production. You said it, only 150 right now, though? Uh, I have a bid in for 150. Oh, okay. They're going for about 180 to 190. Okay. So I have a bid in at 150. I think it'll drop to about 170, and I probably cop. <laughs> and I'd probably cop. And I probably cop for sure. So no sneakers for the Safari Dunks. Just incredible said. None. Okay. Nope. Said is not going to be dropping on sneakers. So that makes them more limited. That definitely makes them more limited. No shit. It's, well, you said there you're not seeing my, uh, my local skate shop. Nocturnal is doing a raffle. Shake my head, Goat James. Hmm. Maybe it just depends on your skate shop or your city. Yeah, I know us down here, we're all doing first come, first serve at 3 or 3. Credible said they'll be like the Travis Scott's skate shop and online skate shop only as of now. Nike on that local skate dick right now. Yeah, that's true. s and S for the dunks, Gio says. Which dunks, Gio? It's about five dunks over here. We got a lot of There's dunks. five releases. Oh, yeah, I think he's probably talking. I, I, they might all be dropping at s, &S. I know the uh, the Kentucky and the Syracuse dunks are definitely. I'm, in, I'm in the raffle s, s I've never won from s, &S. I think Kith stores had those lavas, Dow. Dirty DJ said. Really? Yeah. Huh. I'll have to check their website, Dirty. Orlando Skate Shop doing a raffle. John King. So you you are you positive Image in 303 said no no raffles? First come, first serve. Both of them? Mm-hmm. And everybody else is on do raffles. You bet. Watch. Let me. Are we uh, going and camping? I I thought about it for the Are safari. We camping? If you're tra if you're jobless, Jamal. you're not jobless anymore. But camping if you where? were, I it's think on you a have Saturday to. though. You have to camp. It's on that a Saturday. Image? Yeah. Safari dunk Saturday. He's telling me first come first serve. You know all these little pukes around the city are camping. You know, these 14 year olds, nothing to do and no life or camping and not worried about Corona or camping. Yeah, dude. Uh, That's how early they start lining up. Depends. Multiple days? No. No, yeah. no, no. Not multiple days. Like a couple hours before? All right. A couple no. hours? That ain't camping. No, dude. They'll, you're they'll, getting they'll, midnight, dude, at least. You're getting 11, 11 midnight the night before. I think some people will be there 8, 9, 10 p.m. 8, 9, 10 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah. And it is three or three Jeez. boards, first come, first serve, uh, sizes 8 through 13, one pair per customer, no holds, no online orders, um, image. See what they're doing real quick. That'd be crazy. Nah, I think they got it. I think they they have to make Eight, some changes if people before. start camping. Image is doing a raffle. Image is doing the Dunklow raffle that started uh, three nine and ends Friday three thirteen tomorrow. So, tomorrow. So if you trying to go to Image to so Image is raffle. We've learned. Yes. Three oh three is currently not is first come first serve, and then satellite is image in person or online online raffle online. on Image. And is that through CopDate or no? Are they done with, are they, is that through CopDate or are they done with that? No, nobody's using CopDate as far as I know. Oh, CopDate. And then Satellite they Board Shop. The stock market. Satellite Board Shop in Boulder, first come, first serve. Oh. So we've got two first come, first serves and then one raffle. You think it's better to drive up to Boulder and camp there? You think more people are in Boulder or less people? I know the homie who uh, right, like less. owns the flower shop like four doors down. Maybe we go hang over there. You sure, maybe, it's maybe, not three doors down. A little kryptonite. Down. It's not. Oh no! <laughs> Damn <laughs> it's it! Not. Four doors down. The, the he owns the flower shop. Oh, he might let us camp in his flower shop. Yeah, maybe saying? we can hang out at his flower shop what? or something. Do you yeah. know him? Like know him? Know him? I bought a couple pairs of shoes off him. That's where I got the P rods. Oh, that's right. The homie. Ooh, 
Might have to give so him a call. Dow Pal, can, let's go. That's a good connect. You what? can buy extra tickets at uh, Image. I don't know anything one about free, that. One free raffle ticket per person, and then every $20 spent in store gets you another ticket. In what? store? So I guess buying stuff. Oh, every dollar spent in store. So yeah. You're not just buying raffle tickets, but you're buying you're Wait, buying so gear. every yeah. $20 spent, you get another raffle? Yep. So you spent 100 you bucks, go, you get five more? buying some, uh, some boards. We could, go, we could go buy a snowboard jacket for you. Well, I was going to ask, you need any hoodies? You need any... What's well, 303 that's boards? That's probably I mean. an easy way to secure them. No, that's image, wasn't it? Image. image. Oh, image, sorry. Yeah, they, yeah probably, they probably... Buy a $300 jacket. That's some good raffle entries. What about a... Uh, you think they're listening to the cast? What about five hundred dollars oh, worth of purchases, enough. and then we return them the, the following weekend? I think that's tight. Return the purchases yeah. after we caught. Yeah, this jacket dumps. actually didn't fit very well. Jacket didn't <laughs> fit well, man. I don't understand. The, the jacket, jacket just, didn't. It didn't protect me from Corona. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 Take this thing back. Crank, crank. It was not working out. Do you think they'd do be cool with that? I think they'd be cool with There's that. Nothing they can do. So check it out. So that's kind of the releases this weekend. Uh, I got to tell you, we had the homie. Fail Beast, who had to leave because he had to work. We we adjusted our cast for Fail Beast because we know Australian time right now, you know, when we do it uh, at noon, is not good for them. He's waking mm -hmm. up at 4.30 in the morning. So we did this for him. He actually sent us a pair of shoes to review. Did you know this? No, no. I knew we had a box of sneakers, but you were keeping it on the low low. Check it out. Let What's me the package those. underneath it? Is that for us too? Yeah, that's from Fail Beast as well. Oh, all right. Fail Beast coming through with a couple gifts for the cast. So, right up. You said he had to go to work? Yeah, he, he left the chat. He had to go work. Come Fail on, Beast. Oh, he's he not said. even in here right now? No. <laughs> coming through I with thought, a couple gifts from the I cast. I thought this was going to be like the perfect out. time for him. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I was just talking about. Uh, <laughs> let's start out with not the shoes, a special gift. Hi, mate. I had to dip out the cast, but I hope you all enjoy the gifts. Yeah, I hope he didn't send <laughs> any Rona in this. I don't know if that's a good impression or not. Listen, I didn't send any Rona over there. <laughs> I did not send any Rona over there. Yeah, I don't know. Has anybody heard All his right. Voice? All right. I see what you guys are doing now. <laughs> Ganging up on me, are you? <laughs> not thinking my accent's good, are you? Fosters. All right. Australian for beer. Fosters. Australian for beer. Look what we got here. Oh, the Parramatta Oh, some Eels, Eels jerseys. jerseys. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> the Parramatta Eels kit. Oh, Look at bro. this. Look at this, bro. God, I feel fancy. Are you fancy, huh? Are oh, you fancy, These are girl? Fire. Okay, yeah. he gave me a little bit of background, so I gotta, I gotta look that up. <laughs> um. Dude, they're all different too. Look at the prints. Oh yeah. Well, let me see your print. Dibs on this one because it has less <laughs> Yo, royal. Hey, hey, no. no. Oh, he's got, he's got the he same. Said, as he, said, let, he said, let me see your print. Yeah, I'm dibs on this one because I don't like the royal as much. You know yeah. me. That is the ISC. Well, well, the size. What's the sizing? So we got two mediums and a large, huh? Oh, uh -oh. yeah. This is the large. Oh, somebody's gonna have to have dibs on the large. I can probably squeeze it in the medium. You're right. Both of you guys. Oh wait, you'll probably you probably uh, want the large, huh? Um, I don't know I though. I'm I'm big. I don't really know how they fit. They're probably small. I've seen. He tweeted a picture of the the win yesterday, and they had some pretty small mm, gear really? on. Some small I'm, small shorts. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go to the gym, but I don't want to go to gym because it's kind of locked down with the corona. So I don't know. Oof. That, yeah, is that the large? Uh, this is a Schmied, bro. I think, oh, that'll fit yeah, me. That's too small for you. Oh. That thing's above the belt line. <laughs> that's going to be sick, dude. Um, he says, some of the words on the eel shirts are the indigenous tribe names. Um, I don't know. It says L-E-O-I-E. Oh, -E. Before European settlement, Australia was covered by 100 plus aboriginal countries, uh, a bit like the American Indians. So there's, I don't know. Do you guys have any patterns on yours? Patterns, yeah, on the back. Yeah, I see uh, 1947 Darug, Darug, which looks pretty cool. Guys, it clearly says Darug. Darug? No, I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm messing with I you. I thought it said Durag. No, it's Darug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Darug, see? Yeah, it says some of the words on the shirt, so I don't know. And then uh, you have the sponsorships on the sleeves. A-Land? Actron, Actron Air. Actron Air. Actron Air. ISC. Yeah, these are these are dope, dude. These are pretty cool. These are now sick. The, the Eels are still playing. AP's asking if they canceled. No, they had their their season opener last night, and they won, the didn't Eels. they? Eight to they eight, won. eight to two, I think. That's dope. I, I looked for it on Buff Streams, but couldn't find it. So basically, Phil Beast, you're telling me that the the jer the rugby jerseys over there, they're just basically dry fit polos. That's what that's what this is. Yeah, yeah. Your your rugby shirt is a dry fit polo. 
with some patches on it. This that's, that's pretty sick, dude. This is seriously. This looks it's like more wearable than a basketball jersey. Yeah, this. I mean, you could. Sh- are you when you show up in this? People don't know if you're showing up to play the golf tournament or if you're showing up to do the rugby. That's true. Tournament. They have he, no idea. That's incognito. I'm no might, Richie. I might have an interview for a job. I don't want to say what it is quite yet and ruin my chances, but I may wear this. All right. To the interview. Oh yeah. This is pretty formal. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. It's like, hey, I'm here. I'm here on business, but I also know how to party. The only thing better than you wearing that to the interview would be if the guy interviewing you is like, oh, man, you're an Eels fan? Did you see them win? <laughs> you like the Eels? <laughs> Paramount Eels? Are you getting the job me? off for it. Oh. Paramount Eels, you're hired. Yeah. Don't even Thank sit you, down. <laughs> don't even sit down. Corona, I don't care. Shake my hand, sir. Shake my hand, sir. <laughs> Shake my hand. Do we have any uh, super chat? We got a couple. Let me catch up on these. Armando Silva. No, gang gang, $2. Keep up the good work. Always waiting for a new one. Gang gang, gang thank gang. you, bro. Gang gang, gang, gang 710, bro. Gang right. gang 710. I think it's your shot. Uh, it's over by your monster over there. No, didn't you have ball? Oh, you had balls back and then went in and out. That's yeah. Right. Right. I don't know. That pee break really threw me off. <laughs> Gosh, man, I'm, I'm, hot, I'm hot on the. Uh, hey, you're heavy today. I'm hot on the thing. Almost drug my laptop down. Almost, it's because I feel like this is restricting me, so I'm giving it more, more uh, oomph. Yeah. It's not. It's Ch- Chase, uh, Chase says you guys are on the rugs. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> that fool with the nice. dad jokes. Uh, all right, uh, the next one is on the in the super chat. Armando Silva, three dollars. And he just put like a little dancing emoji, I think. Fist bump chicken. What is it? Fist bump chicken. A fist bump chicken. Huh. Thanks, Armando. Let's see what we got here. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, too heavy. Oh, oh, damn. Whoa, wait. Take that, yeah. that was my style. Bro. That was my style. <laughs> God damn it, I'm getting mad. I'm getting so pissed off. I can't get that in there. Uh, All right, you, re- you ready to see the debut of the shoes? Yes. Do you have any idea what they are? No. Nice. Because you wouldn't tell me. Is it new or old? Uh, you know that guy. It's newer. He's been, spent, he's been sitting on shoes from 88. It's out. It's been out, but it's still newer. What's Silo? Maybe a Dunk. High or low? Maybe a SB Low. Oh, that box? Mm. Hello, SB Low. I don't even know what comes in that box. I don't know. Uh, Gillardi knows I'd ask you. Paramount Eels. Uh, all right, all right. It me. is not the Paramount <laughs> Eels <laughs> uh, SB Dunks. <laughs> Let me take a guess. You said it's a low. It is a low. In that box. Uh, the old Tiffany box. Man. It, it was quick strike, which means pretty limited. What? And, and we haven't looked at it? No. What do we not get? We just, it retailed for 100 bucks. Your, your plums. We had Travis's it, it, in here. It may have had one of, the, uh, one of its uh, launches canceled. Does that help you? No. You know about the strange love dunks. Ah, oh, damn it. I hate myself. <laughs> Cancel dunk? I hate myself. Strange loves. Wow. Look at... So I actually saw these, not uh, not this pair. What size is this? My boy, Just Incredible. 12. Your size. Oh, wow. See if they get back to fail beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're supposed to send them back. He's not listening to the cast. Yeah, he's not listening <laughs> to the like, cast. Hey, babe, we don't know what happened to the package. Wow. So I didn't see this pair specifically early because I wanted to save it for the cast. But our boy, Just Incredible, I've met up with him a couple times. He had a pair. And, dude, I was able to kind of take a look at him, feel him. Dude. Wow. They're nice. I, I, I couldn't wear this pair, though. This it's is co- like it's a collectible. This is like the nicest velvet hotel bed, like dead stock. No one, no one got even like one of those vibrating hotel beds from back in the eighties. Oh yeah, Chevy Chase. <laughs> <laughs> that style. puts the quarter in. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, that's what I was thinking of. This is like that, but DS before anyone did the nasty on it. It just, yeah, it looks great, dude. I got. I'm pulling out this insole. You got to see this insole. This looks like a crushed velour jumpsuit. Like sweat, yeah, yeah, one that's of those. What I was thinking. Is your grandma wearing those? Those crushed velour yeah. joints, all comfy. We're about to bring those back. Are you? Oh, yeah, you know. the Italians do. They're always. <laughs> My grandma will be in those crushed velours out in New Jersey. Loving it. Wow. This is my favorite part of the dunk. This uh, Strange Love graphics, you know. It Dude, says look at that. Soulmate on it. Like I don't know if I can I can see when uh, when Phil Beast puts these straight to feet in the gym. I know. This fool's going to work I, out in these. I can't just watch. Tear them up. <laughs> this is an art piece. He's Those are so cool. These are so great. Sorry, dude. are you trying to get your camera? No, no, no. This is perfect. I was just, 
I'm working with what you're giving me, bro. I ain't making excuses. No excuses. Play like a champion, bro. Mm. I'm a man. I'm 40. Let's go, Mox. Come on, Mox. That one's just, uh, what is it, on there? A skateboard? Yeah, just a skateboard wrapped up, yeah. Cool. Those Arrow. are some interesting laces. These are so cool. So check this out. This is the coolest lace, and I wouldn't rock these, but it's like candy ribbon. Like va Valentine. These are very Valentine's. Very right? Valentine's. -y's. Yeah. These are Valentine's. God, they look so comfortable. Just Incredible says they actually fit a little bit different. There's like maybe either more padding or they just fit different than the traditional dunk. I can't remember exactly what he said, so if he's in the chat, let us know. But he said they fit a little different, and they're super, super comfy. The hearts on the uh, on the underside, just leave it, just leave it there, because they can see it better on this. Look at the hearts underneath the outsole. Translucent. And on the back... They really look like they could almost move. Like they look like those paper hearts that you just drop on and put in an envelope for someone. Like confetti. Valentine's. Yeah, exactly. They look like they would float around in here almost. Yeah. Like you could shake it around, dude. It looks like they are real hearts glued into the. Mm. It looks so cool. If man. it came out in the nineties, it definitely would have. <laughs> These are so sweet. These are so sweet. These are sick, man. Suede on it's very nice. The the uh, the good little graphic on the heel. Strange yeah, love. Yeah, the strange love skull. Strange Love Skull. Look at that. Super cool. And it actually says the Strange Love, which most of the dunks, you know, the SB dunks do. You know, they'll say the Ray Gun, whatever. Uh, says the Strange Love on the Nike SB tongue tag. I think it even has, yeah, the Strange Love on the uh, lace locks. So, uh, or not oh. the lace locks, but lace the ag aglets, whatever, lace tips. Says the Strange Love on there. The details on these are just incredible. Just incredible. Just incredible. See what you did there. Like it? Nice one. Dude, thank what? you, Fail Beast. Yeah, these are way Thanks cool. for sending me these for my birthday, dude. That's so crazy you did that, dude. I can't believe it, man. I know, thank dude. you. You just, you just saved 550 bucks. Good Such for a you. nice Fail Beast, man. I love you, dude. Thank pretty, you for very uh, thoughtful. Thank you for sending those out, dude. We should we do a sneaker conversation on those? Too maybe too old. Cool to show on the cast though. Yeah. Very cool. I think those are really so cool. So many cool details. Yeah. So real quick, just to wrap this up, um, Jalal's got a couple pictures. There are six releases that have been pushed back, a.k.a. delayed, because of the Rona. Oh, Would you really? like to know those and have an update? Yes, and do we cool. know when they're dropping? Do we, we know do. when they're replaced? Oh, yes. shit. So I've got, I've got the original releases, the release dates here, and then obviously on the pictures that Jalal is going to bring up are the new release dates. That new, so, new. Let's go ahead. Uh, let me see what I sent him first here. <laughs> Delayed. <laughs> like yeah. A, yeah, that's what, Stamps. My, that's what yeah. my tax shit's going to look like. I'm going to turn, turn my taxes. <laughs> going to stamp my shit all messed up. Yeah, so essentially we can start out with the five, right? Um, if we look at that one, the original release date on the Fire Red 5 that you're looking at right there was supposed to be uh, March 28th. We are now de uh, delayed till uh, April 25th. So almost a full month delay off of this shoe. One of my plugs hit me up on an early pair. Really? Of those. You might want to take it. I wonder if he could still get it. Or I wonder if he was just saying like they're coming and now they're not coming. I wonder. I wonder a lot of things. Hmm. I need to ask him. Do we know why? Like, is it, It's because of Corona, but I thought their, their manufacturing shoes is somewhere else. Well, they do. So Nike manufactures shoes Indonesia, Malaysia, China, Vietnam. and Vietnam. So yeah. those, so they're all kind of widespread and all over the place. But it's not just manufacturing stuff. I think is causing the delays. It's also, um, you know, not the tariffs. Sorry, uh, the import exports uh, being held at uh, the facilities, not being able to come across the pond. All these different things uh, because of the coronavirus. Obviously, you know, people inspecting things more thoroughly. Um, almost quarantine them like people and animals. I would think. You know, for uh, just to make sure, because they're finding out now that, you know, this coronavirus lives on surfaces. Some people are saying three to five days. Some people are saying up to seven days. So I figure that's kind of what uh, really has to do with it. The more of the surface stuff. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, there's so much misinformation out there. You don't know. Is, is the surface stuff, is it seven to ten days? Can the thing, is it airborne? Yeah. Can it live in the air? Like, what? i hearing... It feels like every time I turn on a news station, it's another thing. I'm in a different country. Well, I just don't think they know for sure. It's yeah. a new so thing. So why say anything? Testing. Yeah. You know, you know what I saw? Why Some, scare uh, us? I, I forgot who, I forgot his name and I wish I knew his name because he did an excellent job on uh, last night when the thunder and when, when no one knew what was going on between, I'm sorry, the uh, second game, Pelicans and the... Uh, who was it? Pelicans and the... 
God, I can't remember now. No, no, no. It was the Sacramento. Thunder game. It was Sacramento. the Thunder Jazz. Oh. I'm sorry. It was the Thunder Jazz game. He tweeted out a uh, tweet, and basically it said, hey, we're trying to gather all the information. There are a lot of people um, trying to do the best job they can to gather the information. Please be patient as I give you guys the updates. He didn't say, I think this is going on. I'm hearing. I'm hearing this is going on. He didn't say shit because he didn't know shit. And I wish that's what people would do more with this thing. Like, why, why, why is, I wish people, people do that. Other people were doing it yesterday. They, they pretty much said Emmanuel Moutier had it before anybody confirmed. Right. And everybody was like, oh, Emmanuel Moutier. You were telling uh, mm-hmm. me that Trump had it. People were like, like two, three days later, <laughs> there was a rumor Trump had it. And now there's another, it sparked up again. Yeah. Another rumor that Trump I think had. Pe- no, people are just saying that he's come in contact with, about, I think, three or four people now that have been confirmed. Have been confirmed so to have it. highly likely that. Gotcha. Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what's true and what's not true. But obviously, Nike is taking the precautions. Cause they're probably just sitting on these in a warehouse somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. What else? All right. So next one, Jalal. See, oh, sure, uh, see what you got. Late. Ooh, the DMP six. Now remember, you could only get this one on the last release as a pack. pack yep. Uh, so this is uh, this is probably going to be a pretty sought after pair, especially now that you don't have to buy two pairs of shoes to get uh, the one that you really want here. Now this one, I mean, you've had already sites release this one and cancel orders, so everybody was really confused on the actual release date. But some people were saying the first week of April, and that's what everybody was saying. But now it looks like four eleven. So the second week of April is when you will see the. DMP mp6 so i don't think much of a delay on this one but you've seen this one surface you've you've even seen it being sold even last month and then canceled orders so this one's not as shocking uh when it when you say delay because it was always thinking that first week of april anyways they just you know retailers made mistakes and loading it a little early um so no surprise there uh is this a cop for you i'm not these and the fives i wasn't interested in either one yeah i'm not a big fan of what it means the colorway and sixes are just bloody uncomfortable. Yep. So for me, I, I wore those sevens the other day, and they they weren't they weren't as bad as a six, but they're not the greatest. Right? Yeah, they're not the greatest. Jalal, what's the next one you got for me? I like a little Warren G in the background. Too. Yeah, you like that? That's nice. Thanks. Ah, the Flints, dude. This is a pair that just seems to have so much hype, and I'm hoping that all these hyped up heads that just have to have this shoe have been waiting for this shoe, I need this shoe kind of thing. I hope everybody actually buys it when it actually does drop because there is so much hype around this. People are just absolutely in love with this. They have to have it. Uh, It's very nostalgic to them. Um, I don't even know when Jordan actually wore the Flint. I don't know if he was with the Wizards. I I mean, I don't know much about uh, the storyline with the Flint itself, but uh, not very many releases on the Flint. It's a very sought after pair. It's a very wanted pair. That being said, the original release date was supposed to be April 18th. Okay. We are now delayed until May, uh, May 2nd, to be honest, uh, on, on that one. So, again, this is super hyped up. People really, really love this. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of traction being made on conversation around social media. But for me, God, I hate the 13s, dude. The 13s are the most, one of the most <laughs> awful Jordans, in my opinion. They, <laughs> he hates the 13s. If, if, if you wear shorts, you might be able to salvage them, but... I don't see very many people looking great with these on, on you know, with pants. I, I just, I don't like the 13. Even the He Got Games, you know, the the bread 13s. I, I just, you know, with the 3M that they've done. I, I just, the hologram on the side. I, I can't, I can't do it, man. I'm not a 13 guy. It damn looks like a mattress, man. The upper looks like a mattress to me. How it's kind of indented there. I just, I think it's awful. It's an awful shoe. I don't have any 13s in the collection. But if those fell to me at retail, I'd see how they look. I'd see how they look on. Is that because the Michigan kind of color that is associated with that? I did, yeah, I just think the gray, navy, and blue is cl- or the gray, navy, and white is clean. It is clean. I just think it looks super clean, and I love my Georgetown eleven lows. I love my cool gray eleven lows. Mm-hmm. I just love those. Those are just very wearable to me. Those seem very wearable, and I'm not against thirteens as much as you are. I'm not a, like. Right. Some of the the Ferraris and some of the really really hyped pairs, I'm not. I don't find them as tight as everyone else. But so I wouldn't ever. I would never pay out of my ass for them. But that pair retail, they fell to me at retail. Yeah, under retail. Yeah, but what you're from what you're saying though doesn't sound like a. I'm out on the silhouette. 
that doesn't sound like there's going to be I don't, I th- much love at the under retail. Yeah, from from what it sounds like, uh, these should sell out. And uh, I don't know how much resale necessarily, but uh, you know, I think you're going to have to work to get a pair at retail from what it sounds like with the traffic. But little info on the uh, the Flint joints for you, buddy. Let's hear it. Original release, 1998 on those. It's been a while. So that was the OG, the OG Flint release. It's been a minute. That could be why. So I think, I don't know, yeah. They're just clean. They just look clean to me. So we got a few and more. And this is one, just... one shoe I do like, the white toe box. Yeah. Very rare. Go ahead. Let's blow through these last couple Oh, yeah, we got, sorry, we got behind. Pair of fours. I don't think anybody's too excited yeah, about. Yeah, so so these are just the Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Enthusiastic. These, these Love are, the enthusiasm. These are just the Air Jordan 4 court, court purples. That's all they're being called. They've got some purple accents uh, on, obviously, uh, the lace uh, <laughs> the lace appendages. And, the you know, the, the accent on the back of the tongue. This shoe, have fun. Good luck. It, it was supposed to come out May 1st. Good for you, bud. It is delayed till the 14th. I'm out. Bye. Good for you, bud. Good for you, bud. <laughs> What's next? This one, though, I'm I'm still on the fence. I know I kind of trashed this one. You actually like this one. The yeah. Air Jordan 11 Low, white, black, and red. I like that. I like that. This was supposed to come out the end of April, April 25th. It is delayed till almost the end of May. So 523 is when this will be dropping now. I'm feeling that, but you know I'm an 11 Low guy. You love the 11 Lows. Just, just named off two pairs that I love. I You're a patent Jeters. leather guy. You love the patent leather. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, you like eleven lows, Jalal, or no? No, you don't I like had 11s the, I had the cool grays. I got rid of them recently. The lows, man. I do, I just have very bad luck with elevens in general. They always squeak. Oh, yeah. really? No matter what pair I have, they just always squeak. See the the My old ones. I none of the new ones I have squeak. Whether it's eleven lows or the traditional elevens uh, with patent Mids, leather, yeah. I, I patent leather is is just evil to wear in my opinion. And, and it looks absolutely atrocious as it creases. So when somebody beats and wears the 11s with patent leather quite often, I just think they look atrocious. They look absolutely beautiful not being worn. Yeah. So I'm going to keep my 11s, my bread 11s that just recently came out, obviously, uh, a few months ago. I'm keeping those DS. I just think it's just a beautiful shoe and uh, not made to be worn. Not comfortable. That patent leather looks like shit when it creases, but I love it for a collector. For me, yeah, I don't... I, I don't know if it's the newer style or whatever, but my lows, all my lows are pretty recent from the Jeters to the closing ceremonies to the Cool Grays to the Georgetowns, but they're all pretty comfortable. The Georgetowns, I wore those the first day of school I taught on Thursday or a Tuesday, wore mm-hmm. them all day around the thing. Great, dude. No and issues. all these little creases are on the sides, like obviously where they're creasing on the sides of your toes, but it doesn't look, they actually still look really good. Um, hmm. I don't know. Same thing with my gold toe, Jordan 1s. The patent leather on that, they just look great still. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. worn those quite a bit, man. So, yeah. Gotcha. Not, not too bad. That's what I got for sneakers. Dope. I think uh, I think one that's going to... Oh, you got one more? Oh, oh, do we? oh, that's right. Man, how could we forget <laughs> the you, new man. top three five? How could we forget? Uh, so, here's the top deal. Top three Jordan five. Yeah, the delay's not terrible on this one. It was originally May 16th. It is now pushed back to May 30th. Uh, not a big difference. I'm wondering if these sit. I'm wondering if these sit. <sighs> to me, they so. should. You don't think so? No. Nah. I don't like them, but I don't think they'll sit. You think dude, they're, they're, they're you think, even worse on feet. Yeah, I saw them on feet, dude. Just you showed me on feet, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> he goes, they're not much better. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely. Yeah. Uh, that's I love the grape by itself. I love the metallic by itself. I don't love the fire red fi- uh, five, but uh, two... Two of those silhouettes in there are, are two of my favorites from the five. Um, not a big fire red guy, but uh, all together, man. Mm. So basically, we just showed five releases that are delayed, and none of us care about any of the five. Oh, no, the one. The one I care about, the 11 low. The 11 low, yep. But everything else? For that reason. We're out. We're out.